Good morning, each and every one. Happy Saturday. Broadcasting live from Mazatlan, Mexico. I'm Bill the Geek. And this is the Bill Dallas Lewis channel. On the Bill Dallas Lewis channel, we make videos about the joys of living in Mexico. And we go live every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time. Here in Mazatlan, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I can't wait until you guys are done with daylight savings time because then I'll be doing this at 9 o'clock in the morning and I can sleep in a little bit. We got lots of people in the house this morning. <clears throat> we got Savvy Soldier in the house. Ah, oh, grand rising, everyone can't wait to return home to Chapala. Come on back down, gravity victim. Uh, gravity victim is in the house. Blessings to you. We got Italy in the house. Lenora Wilson is in the house from Baltimore. Oh, and look who else is in the house. My buddy, Ernie Baca. No bull. Y'all got to, if you haven't checked out Ernie's channel, you got to check out Ernie's No Bull channel. He's got so much information. Sometimes I, 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 I watch his videos and rip off his information and transform it into my information. Thank you. Thank you, uh, No Bull, Bull. Ernie Baca, he has a, a wealth of information. Go to his channel and subscribe. We got Lakaya Britton in the house from... Southern California, woohoo! From from Bulgaria, woo! What time is it in Bulgaria? Howdy, y'all! <laughs> William Mustache Stone Man in the house, and who who else is in the house? No other than Brian, Pretty Boy Maiden. In the house saying happy Saturday to everyone. <coughs> Sorry, folks. I'm still uh, get, I, 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 Verlaine. I'm I'm finally weeks later. Verlaine figuring out how to say uh, your name. Uh, OK, now um, uh, what's this? Uh, you can rip off my information anytime, Bill. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ernie. I appreciate that. And also, are we going to do that interview again ever, huh? Tell me. Uh, we got Liston Henry in the house coming from North Carolina, my favorite state in the U.S. And we got Angie the Traveler. Are you in Mazatlan yet? Also, I had a question for you. We have a lot of information to cover this morning. We have a special guest uh, Katie Ibarra coming on in seven minutes. Uh, but I was thinking about you, Angie, because I heard about the, uh, the bug, the, uh, bed, the bed bug in, in infestation problem in France. Bed bugs are running the people out of France. And with all your traveling, Angie, I just wanted to ask, are, are you checking, are you checking, uh, as you go from place to place, Airbnb to hotel to hosta and this and that, are you checking for bed, bed bugs? I'm worried because I'm going to be getting on the road uh, again. We got we, we got a lot. Axel Foley is off the movie set from the beautiful Poconos. It's raining today. And look who's here. She hadn't been here in a couple of weeks. Everybody's been asking, where is she? Thinks so she speaks. Good morning, everybody. And my old neighbor is even joining us. I know she has a million things to do, but it's that girl. I actually know her real name. Mindy Brown from North Carolina. We love you too, Mindy. We're happy that you're joining us this morning. <coughs> really? Now, that's somewhat surprising, Angie. I mean, you're traveling around. I mean, we're, we're, you, you have to email me. You have, you have my email because I would love to interview you about all of your travels that you're doing. That's very interesting that you would be so uh, 
so ready to leave San Miguel Allende. People speak so highly of it. We have a great day here. It's uh, We have electricity, which is good. We have high-speed internet. All the cameras are working. Uh, our special guest was able to log in. I can see right now all systems are go. Um, uh, let, let's see now. Um, I, I, I got a list. I got a list over here of things to cover this morning. Uh, oh, you're okay. Uh, I, I got a, 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 oh, also, if your name is Selena and you're in fifth grade and you're in Baltimore, I saw your uncle this week. Uh, I had a great conversation. I interviewed a guy that lives in my building. I think he's 33 years old. He does online counseling for he he does the military suicide hotline. <laughs> what kind of job is that, man? Ooh. And he's always so happy and cheerful. But he just talks people out of killing themselves all day. But I saw him out on the street this week and he's having a ball. I'm 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 so happy for him. Uh, I went up to his apartment oh a couple of maybe a couple of weeks ago played a game and the guy's got a girlfriend living with him from Guatemala and they've been traveling a lot a lot they went to Tijuana they went to Tijuana and and he said oh you got to see this bill they went to the beach in Tijuana and uh, he had videos of the wall in Tijuana that prevents the Mexicans from going into the United States and I mean, he, he said they just, and he showed me the video. It was just hundreds of people climbing the wall, jumping over the wall, going into the United States. <laughs> it was really funny, but he's having a blast. He went to Mexico City with his girlfriend, uh, and he said, he said, yeah, we get around, and he said so many people come down here to Mazatlan and they just stay in their apartments all the time. Don't do anything. I'm, he He's having a great time. He's so happy. I'm telling you what, man, if you're young and you can work online, come the heck on down here. Too bad I can't cuss on my channel because then, then my language would be totally different. But then YouTube would throw me off. Uh, but you know, come on down to Mexico. We got our special guest. I'm going to put her on in two minutes. Um, but Mexico is fabulous. Uh, but, uh, but I'm telling you what, uh, this humidity is about to go away. Thank God. Tuesday, the temperature kind of dropped for one day, but you walk outside if, if you're thinking about moving to Puerto Vallarta or Mazatlan or Cancun where it's on the ocean and you have that heat and humidity, think twice. Think about inland. I do not miss the beach at all. Okay, now let's see what's going on over here. Let's see if I can. Oh, oh, oh we got more people. Uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, Angie, Angie. I haven't detected any bed bugs. That's good, Angie. Watch yourself. <coughs> Samaya. I know I messed that. That's Mustafa. Greetings from New London, Connecticut. I wish I was in Mexico. We wish you were here too with us in Mexico. Lowell is in the house. Hola, mis... Queridos amantes de Mexico, thank you, Lowell. Jack Webb is in the house. My dad is visiting us in Lexington. He just turned 95. He's watching the show with me. God bless your dad, Jack Webb. Uh, he must be a wonderful man to have raised a wonderful son like you and your uh, Hit the like button. We have 38 people in the house. Gravity Victim, thank you for promoting the channel. 
I just got a permanent residency and I'm headed down in a couple of weeks to do research in different areas. And uh uh-oh, uh-oh, what is going on here? What is going on here? Uh, Let me see. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, here we go. We have a real estate alert, a real estate alert getting ready to go down right now. Uh oh, a real estate alert. And uh, let me see if we can make this happen here. Uh, here we go. There we go. Hello. Hello. We have we have the infamous professional from my hometown in Columbus, Ohio, Katie Barra. How are you doing this morning, Katie? I'm doing really well. How about yourself, Bill? I'm 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 doing good. How is the real estate? Oh, and Katie Ibarra is a real estate agent in the Lakeside area. And that would, for those of you that don't know what that means, hold on here a second. Um, Lakeside means Ahihik Chapala. And that big blue area there, that is that is Lake. Chapala, which is the largest lake in Mexico. But if you want to get hooked up with a house, she has helped Jack Webb and other people get housing. She's from my hometown, Columbus, Ohio. And how long have you been selling real estate, Katie? I'm getting ready to wrap up my fourth year. Oh, good for you. And how is this a good time to buy a house this time of year or is it a good move to buy a property lakeside these days? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> well, we saw property values increase significantly after well, jur- it started during and after uh, COVID. They have kind of plateaued, but maybe just flatten the line a little. There, we're still seeing increases in property values and homes are selling every day. Oh, wow. And what price range? uh, I mean, compared to the United States, uh, uh, how are prices here compared to the United States if you're buying a home? Um, Well, in our area, you are going to get significantly more for your money, but it depends on where you're coming from in the U.S. You know, if you're coming from the Midwest, prices may feel almost equal or only a slight... um, discount compared to what they're used to. But if you're coming from New York or California, it's going to feel like a bigger bargain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So you have a special home for us today. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom with Katie Bar, And this home is selling for $299,000. Uh, do you want to tell us about the location of this house, Katie? You bet. And I got uh, 289. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yes. That's all right. So this two bedroom, two bath home is in the neighborhood we call Riberas del Pilar, which is in between Chapala Centro and San Antonio. Um, let's see here. So th- this is going to be about a block south of Marisol for anybody that might be familiar with that neighborhood. So it's just a couple blocks down from the highway, which is where the bus line is, and also the bike route. Okay, and it looks like I've, I've been by here many times, and Jack Webb, who's with us now with his dad, uh, he he just built a home in San Antonio. What's it, That's like a 30 second drive, right? Something like that. Yes. For, well, from this property, correct. Yep. Oh, and I can see it's right, right, right down the street from Walmart, very close to Ahihik. Let's take a peek around and see what's going on in here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, here we go. What are we what are we looking at here, Katie? So this is standing at the back of the property. So you can see there's some mature vegetation. There are fruit trees and a bit of a yard, which is a huge plus. So many people have pets and would love to have a yard. Oh, wow. Uh, And what is this? Okay. So from the street side, 
you've got two gra um, garage doors that fold, so you can park two cars in there, and there is an automatic door opener. So you oh. can see spacious. Okay. Uh, let's let's go into the house. There you go. Mm -hmm. So it has this great open concept. You can see from kitchen, dining area, living room, and tons of light. There's windows everywhere. It's wonderful. Uh, oh, look at that. Lots of room. Exactly. And you can see out into the garden the way they've slotted the wall at the end. And how long has this house been on the market? It just went on this past week. Okay. Okay. There we go. And let me click a button. Hold on, Katie. I'm looking for a, a button here. Uh, there we go. Ah, there we go. Okay, mm -hmm. let's come back over here. Okay, there we go. Let's look at the kitchen. Wow. So you'll see it's tons of counter space and updated appliances. And of course, a nice big kitchen window. Oh my God. How long has this house been on the market? Really? Um, just this past week. Okay. Okay. Yep. Now this house will be sold unfurnished, but all of the appliances stay. Okay. And they even have a dishwasher in the kitchen. That's right. Oh, so this is bedroom number two. You see, they have it outfitted with a couple of single beds but it has a nice slider out to the garden area. Okay. Um, and what is this? And so that would be the bathroom associated with that bedroom. And it, it does have an opening from the bedroom. So you could consider that en suite. Oh, oh okay. Okay. There you and go. This, yep. This would be the master. And you can see they've got a nice big bed in there. And again, a slider that opens out to a patio. Oh, very nice and bright. What is the weather like in this neighborhood year round? Uh, the average temperatures are usually in the 70s. And the vast majority of the year, it's sunny. It's, it's really beautiful. Um, in the spring, we do have our hottest weather, which would be dry in 90s. And then in the winter, maybe December, January, um, our days still will hit 70s, but our night times get quite chilly. Okay. 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 And what is this, Katie? So this would be the ensuite master bath. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let's see right here. All righty. So there's a den adjacent to that front living room, and they're using that as a TV room. Is that a separate room, or is it like... Oh, with a door and stuff. And so this, this could be a bedroom, right? It could be. Okay. Okay. All there right. you go. Yeah. So you can see this um, big courtyard allows for each of those bedrooms to have space to, to open out into one of these courtyard or patio areas. Okay. That's beautiful. Wow. You have a nice barbecue out there. Oh. And so colorful. Mm -hmm. Ooh, here we go. Boy, these your friends over. Oh, these people love orange, don't they? <laughs> uh -huh. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> and there, there you go. We only have one more image, Katie. All righty. Uh, there you go. Right All there. Right. With the and birds of paradise in the front. You see the, the flower. That's that's just beautiful, beautiful. Um, what well, well, uh, what? Let's see here. Uh, what do you have to tell people, Katie? Well, right now, um, in Riberas, getting something under three hundred thousand is still very possible, but we are seeing property values in that area start to increase. So. I would encourage people that are thinking eventually they want to come down and, and look to maybe go ahead and plan your exploratory trip. If you'd like somebody to assist you, give me a shout. All right. And uh, I've talked to people that uh, that you've been with and, and you just take them all around and show them everything. And if if uh, 
if if they're not delighted with this property, then you show them like 20 more properties, you know? The, 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 well, that's happened. Yes. Ideally, we'll find it quicker than that, but if whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Katie Ibarra. Katie, we thank you so much. Katie joins us the first week of every month. She always has a fabulous property. And Katie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, Bill. Have a great weekend. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ah, there you go, folks. Katie Abara. Katie Abara, super realtor. And uh, I tell you, man, she she does her job, man. <coughs> okay, I still got the cough. Still got the cough going on, but I feel a lot better. Uh, let me see what I missed here. Uh, hello, Katie. Okie dokie. Da, da, da. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Okay. Now I, I, I'm going back here to see what, uh, here we, here we go. We'll pick up right here. Got the permanent visa thing going with pretty easy access to Puerto Escondido area for beach visits. Looking good. Okay, good. Congratulations. And let me let me hooks let me hook something up here. I'm gonna try to do something here. Um ah, here we go. I'm gonna try to do this. Oh, there we go, right there. Here we go. Okay, so I think yeah, I think I'm showing this map right here. Because people, people talk about all of these places every week. And uh, we got here. So here's what he's talking about. Oh, Waka. Right here, kind of close to the beach. Um, I'm planning my trip that I think will begin. Uh, my trip will begin, I believe on the 10th of November, and I want to go to Lyon. I'm going to fly from Mazatlan into Lyon. Yep. And to fly to, to I, I took the bus from Mazatlan to Lyon. You have to go through Guadalajara. Uh, that's a, it's like an eight hour, it's a, it's a five-hour drive from Mazatlan to Guadalajara, but it's an eight-hour bus trip. You change buses, and you can see Guadalajara. We go to Lyon, and that whole, I mean, that, that one way, it's like 12 hours. If I fly from Mazatlan to Lyon, it only takes an hour and 10 minutes. <coughs> and once I get to Lyon, uh, on the 17th, in Lyon, they have an international balloon festival. So I want to shoot some shots of the balloon festival, do a uh, in-depth walk around of Lyon. And Lyon is the leather capital of Mexico. Shoes, jackets, bags, leather, leather, leather. If you're a kink freak and you want some kinky leather stuff, you want to go to Lyon. So uh, I'll be booking the airfare this week, but you can see down below Lyon is this town, and you can see Guanajuato right over there. Uh, uh, I went to Lyon, and it was only a 20-minute uh, 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 mustache stone man. William Mustache Stone Man told me, go to Lyon and get Uber to Guanajuato. It was only a 20-minute taxi ride. And then right below Leon, you can see Ira Puato. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to do a video of Puat, uh, Ira Puato. I know I'm messing that name up. Uh, and then north of Leon. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, folks. North of Leon, you can see Lagos de Moreno. 
So I'm going to do a video of those two cities. I'll get probably like three videos out of the Lyon city itself. So that trip is in the making. Uh, and I think I'll be leaving here on the 10th of, uh, let's see. Um, I think I'll be leaving here on about the 10th of November. So I'll be booking my flight early this week to go there. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what be happening. What, what be happening up there? Oh, let me back up. Okay. Poconos, that girl, three places low. I'm catching up here. Uh, scrolling through my notes. Here we go. Virginia, my social worker friend, I believe in New York. Uh, Mr. Bill, greetings from New York. I want to move to Lake Chapala. Let's see what happens. Need to find a two bedroom, two baths that allows two small doggies. Most Virginia, most uh, uh, people in Mexico love dogs. I mean, uh, when I lived in Chapala, it was like all of my neighbors had dogs. Some of them had like three or five dogs. Uh, and you see, and then there are wild dogs out in the streets. They just, and, and then the wild dogs would just lay down in the middle of the street, go to sleep. People don't run over them. So people are very dog friendly down here. Savvy, are you a motivational speaker? Mm, that's interesting. We, we got to hear the answer to that. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Thank you, Angie, Lenora, Ola, Katie. Uh, hi, Katie. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, good. And uh, when we have Katie on next month, uh, like I, I get nervous. I, I get nervous when I have Katie on. And I, I, I always forget to say, hey, do you guys have any questions? So when she comes on next month, I will be saying, okay, do you guys have any questions? And you guys, when she comes back, remind me to say, hey, does, does anybody have any questions? She thinks so. She speaks. No, at least not for a career. I'm in the medical field. Thank you. Okay, me too. It's a small world. You guys just hitting it off. That's a beautiful location. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Uh, get a get a checks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Need a pump or steroids? Thank you. Are you a nurse, Bill? When you were in Moralia, what was the cost per night at the hotel Victoria? Uh, my cost at the Hotel Victoria, which was, it was about a, I'm going to say a six or seven block walk to El Centro, was about $28 a night. The place was very clean. Uh, the room, it was not like a Marriott, but the place was very clean. The water was strong. There was no noise, no bugs. Everything was super clean, very secure. Uh, but it was only $28 a night. I don't watch television. And the internet was surprisingly good. But for $28 a night, you really can't go wrong, I think. Um, yeah, that's what I think. That, that was the rate. Perpetual Spring. Yes. Orange is my favorite color. I don't see how anybody could put that much orange in a house. I love orange in a house. Uh, yes, it was a lovely house. I'm not saying anything else. Savvy, give me a shout early this week. I will be out of town the, the second half of uh, October. And I didn't say that all of Katie's contact information is in the description below. And uh, to uh, <coughs> to enhance my search engine optimization in the description below, there's like four 
paragraphs of what I'm going to call garbage. And that's all just for search engine optimization to, to make my page show up higher in the search engines. So right below all the garbage, uh-oh, what's going on down here? I got a little situation going. Here we go. Um, so below all of the garbage, uh, you will see Katie's contact information. And we just got a $9.99 donation from John. Thank you so much, John, because when you guys contribute to the pan to the channel, I use this money to uh, do my travel thing. Uh, and this next travel trip, yeah, all, all these donations, they go right into travel. I think the player, the, the airplane flight is going to be about $150. I'll probably spend about $40 a night on hotel. So there's 160 or there's about 300. That's it. Hotel, travel, eat some tacos. Yeah, that's about that's about it. I, I think it's going to be about a $500 trip. Uh, but anyway, when you guys donate money to the channel, all of that goes right in. All of that goes right into me producing these videos. It's time to turn on some air conditioning because the humidity, I turned it off. Let's click it back. Buenos Dias from Senor Mexico. Buenos Dias from Delaware. How would you compare Mazatlan to La Paz for livability? I've never been to La Paz, but Verlaine, Verlaine lives in La Paz, but she's never been to Mazatlan. Um, so I cannot answer that question, but I'm, I'm going to say that in that I'm moving to Moralia, I'm trying to cover as much West Coast stuff as I can. And, <clears throat> and you can see again, let's see here. Here we go. So let's, uh, let's go back to the map. Here's Mazatlan. We're looking, and you can see it's on the West Coast. And La Paz is uh, just uh, La Paz is in the area. I think it's uh, north of San. No, it's north of Cabo San Lucas. Um, so I should be able to take a plane from Mazatlan to La Paz for about $60 round trip, I think. Uh, so, so, uh, anyway, so before I go to Moralia, I think that I will go to La Paz and Cabo San Lucas. Uh, but let me get out of there. Let me go out of there to Mazatlan, um, for livability. I interviewed Verlaine about two weeks ago, Verlaine, and, uh, she, and she said it was too hot to go outside. I tell you what, if you do not like hot and humid weather, stay away from the coast. And I do not like it. I'm getting out of here because I'm telling you, man, that hot and humid weather is no fun. I do not like it. I will be so happy to get out to get out of here. Okay, there here we go. Brian Maiden. I went to a balloon festival a long time ago. It was amazing to see so many, many different styles of balloons. Yeah, that's that's going to be fun. I'm just wondering um if I'll be able to put my drone up. I guess I I can somewhere. How easy, uh, William Mustache Stoneman, how easy is it to rent a January to March unit in Ahihik? January to March, that's three months. That's three months during high season. That's when all the Canadians and Americans, uh, 
if you if you book it early, I'm sure you would be okay. Um, oh, let me let me let me check something out here. Um, let me look at something. Let me look at something. Let me see if I have that information readily available on my website. Oh, da 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 da. Do 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 do. Uh huh. Nope. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. Okay. William Mustache Stone Man. If if you go to my website, uh, and that would be buildthegeek.org. Uh, buildthegeek.org. There is a contact there. And, and, and go to FAQs. Go to FAQs. Huh. Interesting. Go to FAQs. And you will see... <coughs> If you scroll down, let's see here. Uh oh. Uh, it's that towards the bottom of the page, there's a woman, and her name is Alma Zamora, real estate agent. She can rent you an apartment or sell you a house. You will see her website there. Um, and, uh, um, and she can, she, anyway, before I moved to Mazatlan, before William Stone, man, before I moved to Mazatlan, I was thinking about renting a place in Ahihi Chapala and I contacted her. I've never met her, but she was extremely responsive. I told her I only wanted to spend about $500 a month and she sent me about five apartments. What time of year? This was in January, actually. Uh, I contacted her in January. Uh, she was a wealth of information. So go to buildthegeek.org. Go to FAQs down towards the bottom of the page. Her first name is Alma, and you will see Realtor listed there. Rudy Clemens. Good morning, Rudy. Happy to see you in the house. Tell your lovely wife, Sheila, I said hello. And I did an interview with them months ago. And that video was, it was super popular. That video with, with uh, Rudy and Sheila has gotten like 5,000 views. It's amazing. Good morning, Mr. Stone Man. R. Good morning, everyone from Fresno. <coughs> hi, my my hi, Brian, my duo lingo buddy. Uh, and, and let me say this. I have been uh I've been promoting uh oh, what is that? What's the name of that? Uh let me find that. Uh, oh, it's it's not. It's not Duolingo. Rosetta Stone. I have talked good about Rosetta Stone. I, I used them for like 10 years. I bought a lifetime membership for about $500 10 years ago. And so they stopped. It's the CD version. And I... And I contacted them to, and, and now they have the web version and they wouldn't continue my subscription. They wanted me to pay another $300. How disgusting and how dirty is that? I will never promote Rosetta Stone ever, ever, ever again. Do not trust them. That's all that I can say. Angie, uh, such a cool city, too. Haven't done as much research on Pacific Coast access while living in Moralia. Right on. That is another city I am checking out. Guanajuato also. <coughs> I tell you what. I loved Guanajuato. Guanajuato was awesome. But I think Moralia is a little less expensive from 
my research. And also, I did a video this week. I did a video this week on using chat, uh, chat, GPT, something like that. I use it all the time for my research. It's um, it's amazing. Uh, when, when I when I uh, put up prices, I I just go in there and I say, can you compare prices for a two bedroom, two bathroom, uh, apartment? Can you compare the prices between Mazatlan and Puerto Vallarta? And it, it gives me answers. Now their answers are go back two years. Uh, I think you have to pay money for current stuff, but as far as what, what are the top 20 things to see in Moralia? What are the top 20 things to see in Ahi Heek? What are the best restaurants in Ahi Heek? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm traveling all of the time and I need tips to help me with, uh, where to go, what to see and everything. So I use chat. Uh, chat AI all of the time to find stuff for my research. Okay, how long does it take to get residency? Uh, me and Verlaine, we just we just did a video. That was like two weeks ago. I just put up that video like two weeks ago. And Verlaine got residency in about two weeks in La Paz. And it was a weird, it was the weird way to do it. Uh, uh, she got a one week. Uh, she, she went to the border. She's Canadian. Uh, when she got to the border, she says, she said, I just want a six day visa. That's all I want. So then when she got, she got the six day visa. Before she got to La Paz, she found an immigration attorney. And, and the way it worked was you let your six-day visa expire. Then they can give you a special visa and you provide them with minimal financial information. You don't have to prove a monthly income. You don't have to prove that you have $40,000 in the bank. Uh, that service, Verlaine said, cost about, uh, she said, $1,000 uh, more or less. Uh, and she had her four-year visa in two weeks. And, um, uh, oh, after four years, it flips automatically into a permanent visa. Now, uh, whatever. But I'm thinking to get your Jack Webb just... He and his wife just got permanent visas. I'm thinking you should be able to get that in like four to six weeks. The conditional method. Ah, oh, keep going back. Keep going back. I haven't been there. I got to go there. Candy Fields. I love orange too. It is all throughout my house and I wear orange every day. Yeah, okay, right on, you orange people. Orange rocks. Okay, R right on, folks. I live in Chapala. Lovely place. Yeah, I lived in Chapala. I lived in Chapala for like four years, and it, it was cool. I For me, it was a little too small. Love the brunt orange, southwest adobe color. Okay. No, Lenore, I have not been to Puebla. That's another place that I really want to visit. But let's let's look at the map again. <clears throat> let's see here. Let's look at the map again. Oh, there we go. Um, let's uh let me go down here. Da 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 da. -da. Where there you go, right there. Okay, now. Let me zoom out. Okay, here we go. Um, so now I'm in Mazatlan, which is on the West Coast. Um, here we go. There's Leon. There's Moralia. And you can see that Moralia right here in the middle 
is in the middle of Mexico. And you can see Pueblo, Puebla is right over there uh, from Puerto Vallarta. That's, that's going to be about a 10-hour bus ride from Morelia to Puerto Vallarta. Looks like it's about the same to Puebla, probably a one-hour plane flight. So being in Morelia, I'll be right in the middle of Mexico, and I can extend my researches to the West Coast and the East Coast. So once I once I get there, uh, I'll be able to uh, e explore more of central Mexico. If I purchased that home, I would definitely keep the color orange. If I purchased, oh, you guys call Katie Ibarra. She can hook you up. Katie Ibarra will hook you up. And for you people that are watching, uh, Lenora Wilson, Puebla is also on my research list for a possible home. <sighs> and I, you know, I'm not really into owning a home because uh, I just like my freedom to move around. Uh, uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll die in Moralia, but everywhere I, I fall in love, I say it every week, I fall in love with everywhere I visit in Mexico. Every, everywhere, only one place was a little shaky. And that was when I lived in, in that. And for those of you that have been with me for a while, it's called El Arenal, population like two or 3,000 people between tequila and uh, Guadalajara. It's like 15 minutes from Guadalajara, but it's really out in the middle of nowhere. It was fun living. It was a great place. Uh, no neighbors. It was out in the country. Peaceful, clean. Uh, but, but uh, that I mean, it, but it took me like 15 minutes to get to go to town to buy like a carton of milk. I mean, that was that was just that's the only place that really didn't turn me on. OK, but most places are really cool. So I'm not going to buy a house. <clears throat> so if you're thinking about moving down here and exploring, just find a starter place. Just find a place uh, to to. So that you can just travel around and see what's going on. Uh, go live here for six months and go live there for or three months. Go or go live over there for a month. Live over there for a month. There's no reason to sell your soul. Um, so whatever. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. Uh, Candy Fields, good for you for moving to Moralia. I live in Chapala. And I am starting a five-week trip to Guanajuato, San Miguel, the Q place. Can't wait. I love Mexico. Been here 15 years. Um, yeah. Uh, Chapala and Ajijic and Sel San Miguel Allende. There's just too many Americans and Canadians living there. Specifically, Ajijic. And that's why the prices keep going up so high. Uh, when I was in Moralia, I didn't see any Canadians or Americans. Not one. I like that. That's why I live in Mexico. I didn't, if, if I wanted to see a bunch of Canadians, I would have moved to Canada. <laughs> if I wanted to see a bunch of Americans, I'd still be living in the USA. No. I live, I moved to Mexico so I could see a lot of Mexicans. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, I still have a lot. We, we have a lot going on. And for those of you that uh, uh, are watching the broadcast uh, and, and you're watching the uh, replay, and uh, if you want to donate to the channel, down in the description, uh, there's a donate link. 
And you can click that link and uh, in there, you can use PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, or Discovery Card. Uh, so uh, any donations are always useful. Verlaine, yes, when I get there, I'll certainly look you up for sure. I'm hearing good things about Zaka Tekas. Have you been there then? No, I haven't. But as you can see from the map, that is not, I, I think that's closer to me where I am now. I have to check it out. Oh, also, let me say this before I move ahead. I tell you what, this, this weather, man, I don't even want to go outside. You go outside and uh, it's like it's 110 degrees with humidity. Uh, it's like being in a shower all of the time. That's, I mean, that's, no, I don't like, I don't, I don't even want to go outside. There are some videos that I want to shoot here in Mazatlan. I don't want to go outside. So I, I want to go to a place where I want to go outside all of the time. Candy Fields, excited to hear what you think. Morelia, Guanajuato, Puebla all look very interesting. Guanajuato is fabulous. And when I make this next trip, Leon is so close to Guanajuato. It's only a 20-minute Uber ride. I'm dying to go back there, but uh, uh, hey, nope, not going to do it. It's got a budget. Green Bastard, my wife and I are headed to Chapala next year. Any chance you'll go back to the Lake Chapala area? No. Um, <coughs> uh, no. No. Uh, uh, I don't think I'll ever go back to the Lake Chapala area. People that live there love it. Um, I mean, and they have the best climate. The weather is excellent. There's never hardly any humidity. And Chapala is less expensive than Ahihi today. Uh, but I mean, uh, no, uh, I've, I've just seen too much. I've seen too much of Mexico to go back to Chapala. And let me say this. Let me say this, the value of the peso really sank this week. My rent went down $70 a month, and I'm hoping it goes down another $70 this by the end of the month. The peso is dropping like a rock in the ocean right now. Thank God. And the temperatures are going down right now. We have 53 people in the house uh, 31 likes. Thanks for clicking that like button. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, the pink stone and architecture look gorgeous. Can't wait to explore. Lenora, I wanted to know about the place since I first found out about this place. Okay, padlock. Greedy, greetings all from Albuquerque. Our hot air balloon festival just oh this morning. They're expecting over 650 participants. Wow, that girl, you got to go check that out. Candy Fields, I'm excited too. I've lived in Mexico for 15 years, mostly in the Monterey area. I've never stopped in Monterey. I live in Chapala now. And do house sit right on. Okay. <sighs> there you go. Candy Fields. I have a place in Chapala as well. Yeah, Chapala. I mean, you know, it was okay. Um, and you know, I I I mean, but uh I just want bigger. Uh I mean Morelia has like a million people. Um, Ch I mean, Chapala, Ahi, Heat combined, I think they have around 30,000 people. 
Uh, I remember I lived in a place called uh, Mount Vernon, Ohio. It's about 60 miles away from Columbus, Ohio. Population about 40,000 people. I bought my grandmother's house there when she bought when she died. And <clears throat> at the time I was married to my first wife, who was my high school sweetheart. And on Saturday nights, I mean it's a small town. They only had two bars with music. And they they didn't have any bars with live entertainment. They just had, you know, music playing in the bar. So we'd go to a bar, be hardly anybody in there. And but they had another bar like across the street. So we'd go into the first bar, maybe have a beer, or something. Nobody'd be in there. Nothing's going on. Well, let's let's try the bar across the street. And we go to the bar across the street, and the same people that were in the other bar had moved to the other bar. I mean, that's how small the town was, and that's that's kind of how I felt in Ahihi Chapala. It's a small place. Um, uh, yeah, whatever. So you like you like what you like. You like what you like. Okay, Chapala is such a lovely place. I ride on my bike <clears throat> on the Malikan each morning. Lake energy is delightful. It's yeah, it's a, it, it's very nice. Crazy Boy Radio. Good morning, Crazy Boy Radio. Great to have you in the house. Checking us out. We'll have to check you out. Ah, Candy Fields. I got residence in a month. I didn't have to leave Mexico. I had a fantastic lawyer. Good for you. Two weeks. Wow. There you go. Sandy T. Thomas. Good morning, brother. You are sounding better, my dear. Yes, I'm feeling much better also. Lowell, Axel Foley. What cities, towns have mild weather and not hilly? Uh, well, I'm just going to come right out and say that Chapala, Ahihik, is supposed to have the best climate in the world. <coughs> mm. Sorry. Guadalajara was, I lived there for three or four years. I mean, once you get into central Mexico, humidity kind of sort of goes away. Mexico City has one of the best climates in the world. Uh, Moralia has excellent climate. Uh, Guanajuato, and I would think San Miguel Allende all have excellent climates. But once you get out to the, oh, oh, and Moralia, it's, uh, they, they have, they don't have any big ups and downs. Most of everything is flat. Guanajuato is a hill city, but El Centro is flat. Uh, Chapala is pretty flat. Ahihik is kind of flat, but a part of the town is on a hill. You can live on the hill, but you better uh, be taking taxis every day, but uh, whatever. Savvy. Bill, you are so helpful. Thank you for all you do. Right on, Savvy. I appreciate that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try out du Duolingo. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to do it. The buck stops here. You're like the Caribbean. Yo, you'll like the Caribbean side of Mexico. Well, I'll have to check that out. I've been to Cancun, but that's about it. Humidity worse than North Carolina. Okay. I've been to, I've been to North Carolina a thousand times. Uh, and the, 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 the humidity, I'm going to say, yeah, the humidity here is worse than North Carolina or equal to humidity on a bad day in Georgia. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. 
Yes. Uh-huh. I mean, the humidity here sucks. And it's climate change. I was here last year in the summer. It was not this hot last summer. And my neighbor, right down the my walkway here, she's from Mazatlan. And she said she doesn't ever, it ever, rem, she does not remember it ever being this hot in her life. She's about 35 years old. Her mother said the same thing. It is, it's terrible. I'm out of here. I'm gone. Savvy. Orange inspires creativity. Orange only inspires creativity when it's in my closet. Ha, ha, ha. With the doors shut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the kind of creativity it brings out in me. Uh, I'm creating methods to hide it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Nana Ola just got back from my first Saturday on the beach in Mazatlan. Yoo-hoo, your first Saturday on the beach in Mazatlan. It's beautiful, isn't it? There's, I mean, the beach, you got to say the beach is beautiful. Brian Maiden. Zacatecas is a very nice city, but I didn't find a lot to do. But this was many years ago. Miriam, greetings, Bill. Yes, the fact that the value of the American and Canadian dollar has increased in value is a great welcome. Yeah, man. Uh, that's the first. I really enjoy visiting Monterey. I have not explored that. But uh, let me say, uh, oh, what am I talking about? Um, oh, I, I forgot what I was going to say. Thank you for all the great videos, crazy boy. It's my pleasure. This is what I do. And someone just contributed more. Here we go. La Dolce from Italy. Thanks for all of your help. La Dolce, thank you very much for contributing to the channel, even though my rent is going down, that $10 you just gave up helps support the channel. This is what I do. I love, I love, I love doing this. And um, I love doing this. And, and I think last month, Dolly Parton, Dolly Parton, she said, uh, what, what, for me to die, I want to be on stage singing, and then I just drop dead. <laughs> That's funny. I mean, she loves. Oops, oops. I'm I'm talking to the wrong. I'm talking to the wrong camera. Sorry, folks. Uh, I I just I love doing this, and it is a little uh, planning this next trip because I'm always headed into the unknown. Uh, I know I know a teeny tiny little bit about Leon. Uh, these uh, where where else am I going on this trip? Uh, I, I don't know anything about the balloon festival. Um, every every trip that I take now now it used to be when I lived when I first started making these videos. When I first made the videos. I would do videos about Chapala. I would do videos about Ahi Hik. I would do videos about Puerto Vallarta. I would do videos about Guadalajara or uh, Malake. But I had been to all of these places. Now, uh, like Guanajuato, I had never been to Guanajuato before. I had, I had never been to Morelia before. Uh, 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 most... I'm going to say 100% of the places that I'm going now, I have never been there before. And it it brings up some, uh, oh, what would you say? Uh, uh, oh, fear. <laughs> That's what I would say. I, I would call it fear. I'd say I'd be scared. You know, you got to get your airfare and find a hotel and you know, you don't know. Then you get there, you don't know what anything is. And that is where that chat uh, 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 
uh, AI, chat AI. It fills me in. Oh, and the Facebook groups with expats. And I say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to Moralia. What hotel should I stay in? Where should I eat? You know, so I, I, I get my information. But uh, I, I just want to die with a video. I want to die with my drone up in the air. And then I'm somewhere beautiful in Mexico. I just die. That's how I want to go. Yeah. Yeah. So I love this. It's fun. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, Spanish with crew Paul on YouTube. His Spanish lessons are excellent. Let me check that out. Very good. Oh, hey there. Good morning from Playa de Tijuana. What up? <laughs> BDL. Better late than never. Great to see you in the house. Where was I? Where I was? I was in Jose. Uh, there's this guy that makes uh, videos. His name is Jose and Hat. Help us out with this guy's name. I oh oh, uh, Verlene. Verlene emailed me and says, "Hey, this guy is on live right now." And they had an immigration attorney on, <coughs> and uh, and Verlaine says, ah, "Check this out." So I signed on live, and who was in there? But Hat Pauser. She was in the house. Now, that's funny. That was very funny. Oh, she says, oh, Bill Dallas Lewis is in the house. I watch your videos. That is so funny. Uh, better late. We're, we're always happy. The family is always happy to see new folks show up. Oh, uh, 007. Is that like 007? Good morning from Fort Dallas Worth. 54 months until early retirement. Appreciate your videos because Mexico is part of my plan. And I'll, I tell you what, I love, I, and, and it's on my list, you know, but I go live, I go live every Saturday and, you know, I wonder, I wonder if, if, if I wonder if I can say I love Mexico too much. Like, should I say I love Mexico every week? Uh, well, I, I guess that's my job because Mexico is fabulous. Uh, oh, oh, Rudy, Rudy Clemens and his and his wife uh, Sheila. Uh, in a, in my interview with them, his wife Sheila, she says, oh, and they were living in I think Las Vegas or Reno somewhere in Nevada and <clears throat> she said when she crossed the border when she crossed the border and came into Mexico she just felt relief relief and uh, uh Jack Webb loves Mexico uh Katie Abara she's lived here for like about 12, 13 years from my hometown. People, or, or, or Michael, I was talking about Michael, uh, the guy, that, the young guy, he's 33, he's working online, counseling, uh, people con contemplating suicide in the military. He, he got a job like that. He loves Mexico. Mexico is so much is so much more chilled out than the United States. There's so much love here. And on my list, an example of love, let me give you an example of love from this week. Uh, I bought new underwear this week. And doesn't it feel great when you buy new underwear? And, and I, I went to Walmart and I bought some new underwear like two weeks ago, but it just feels so good. So I was in Walmart. It was like yesterday and the new underwear felt so good. I bought some more new underwear. I got it on now, but when I went to Walmart, okay. So, so I first time I got the underwear was like two weeks ago. And then I went in yesterday to buy underwear. I went to the underwear department in Walmart and I couldn't find the underwear. 
I'm looking around. I was in a general area, but it looked like women's underwear. I don't wear women's underwear. Not that guys that wear women's underwear is anything wrong with that, but I just don't do it. But uh, uh, so I went up to the lady. There were two Walmart ladies there. <coughs> of course, both of them were Mexican ladies. And I said, I'm, I'm looking for, and I didn't know how to say underwear. So I had my jeans on, my underwear under the jeans, and I pulled my jeans down and pulled up my black underwear. I'm looking, I'm looking for this. And they they laughed and giggled. And the, the lady said, Come with me in English. This lady spoke fluent English and she spoke English well. And uh so the lady took me, the lady took me right over to the to the men's underwear department. And I, and I said, oh, how do you, how do you say underwear in Spanish? I, I said, uh, como, one phrase you should know in Spanish is, como, como se dice, that means, how do you say, como se dice, como se dice, how do you say this or that? So I said, how do you say underwear? And she said, ropa, let's go back over here. Ropa inter interior, something like that. Uh, inner clothing. Uh, but it's it's little things like that that happen. Little acts of love that happen all the time. There's so much love in Mexico. Okay, now that, let me keep going down here. Oh, Al Simon, I'm gonna call you AI. I agree with Angie about Crew Paul's lessons. I M O. His first five lessons are better than 30 lessons on Duolingo. I will have to check because I've heard him speak Spanish. And Mr. Simon, I want to thank you. He uh AI, AI contributed to the channel and he contributed during the broadcast, but he did it through the link in the description below. And that way it goes through PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, and they don't take any percentage out pretty much. Uh, YouTube takes out like 30%, whatever. And you and you said that last week in the broadcast. I, I really didn't know what you meant, but you donated $10, and I want to thank you so much for contributing to the channel. And Axel Foley. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Axel. I love that name, Axel Foley. Uh, thanks for the fine job you're doing. Morelia is on my bucket list. Um, let me and let, let let me say this though. Uh, oh, I said this last week. You know, I'm uh uh I uh I gotta have something to do. Um, I just have to have something to do. So making these videos, this is what I do. Uh, I have a television that comes with the apartment. It's on the wall, but I've got this Google something. No, I've got Chromecast. I've got Chromecast plugged in and Chromecast is really cool because if I'm watching a video on my laptop, I can send it over to the TV. Or if I'm I'm listening to music on YouTube or on Spotify, I can send it over to the TV. And all day, uh, Chromecast automatically shows you photographs 24 seven, every 30 seconds they change to for photographs. I'm looking at these photographs, uh, but I never watch TV. I'm going to watch some college football this afternoon. I feel guilty about it. I don't watch NFL. I don't watch baseball. I don't watch basketball, except during March Mag Magic for college basketball. But I don't watch television. I used to a lot in Puerto Vallarta. I don't watch any television. I need something to do. So for me, uh, I could be, I can be right here and I'm happy. <laughs> I mean, I, okay, what, next month I'm going to be on the road for like seven days? That's pretty intense. Uh, being on the road is intense, but I come off the road, then I'm editing video, I'm preparing to go live. 
uh, I have things to, I got to be having things to do so I could live pretty much anywhere. Uh, but when I'm not doing this, I just want to walk outside. Um, I'm two or three blocks away from the beach. I just want to walk. I, and I can't wait till the humidity goes down because this is not enjoyable. But in another two weeks, I'll be able to walk outside. It'll be beautiful, see beautiful things, have Mexican people say hello to me. And that's one thing that, that, uh, that's my, the people, the Mexican people in Mazatlan are really friendly. They were not this friendly in Puerto Vallarta. They were surely not this friendly in Guadalajara. They were not this friendly in Durango. Um, in Mazatlan, the Mexican people are friendly. If you make eye contact with a Mexican in Mazatlan, they're going to say, they're going to smile and they're, they're going to say, Buenos dias. Hola, buenos dias. Yeah, you got some grumpy people everywhere, but almost every Mexican is going to smile at you and say hello. Uh, okay, so let, let me get back to uh, what people are doing over here. I wish Kuru Paul had left his animated ones up. I was just starting to look at those. I just got done with my Duolingo lessons for the day. Silly, but better, better than nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Practice your Spanish. Practice that Spanish. Laughing. I want to die with my drone up. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see what's going on now. Uh, Cancun got cheapest flights from my local. I'll be in Cancun or Merida. My first trip either November or January. I haven't been to. I've. I've. Uh, I went on vacation once years ago in Cancun. It's a tourist town. Yes, I do Spanish with Paul. I'm going to check it out because I need I need refreshers. Uh, but I was married to a Mexican woman for, well, I dated her for like eight years. And uh, so that was like a PhD in Spanish. It really helped me out. But I need refreshers and I need to expand my vocabulary in Spanish. Uh, but I think these days, most of the time, I think in Spanish. When I'm walking around, you know, when I'm at the group, I'm thinking in Spanish. That's just the way it is. Gravity victim. Super stickers. Thank you so much for contributing to the channel. That helps us. That 40, that, that, that $10, that, that, that's, that's, a, I, I don't even, that's like a million dollars down here. And with the peso going down, Ten dollars that covers my rent for three months. So if some of you people donate, uh, if 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 uh, if uh, if if uh, a couple more people, if we get three more people at ten dollars a pop, that pays my rent for the entire year. Then I can get a new drone. No more rent. Thank you so much, Gravity Victim. Uh, on YouTube. Very good. Let's keep on rolling here. I was on that live too with Jose. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's funny. That's hilarious. That's small world, isn't it? Small world. That's funny. Hat was there. Dulce was there. Uh, R, we appreciate your videos, Bill, and you are wealth of information. I'm I'm just happy to do it. I'm happy. I'm just happy to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Sharing is fun. I love it. I love it. And I, I and I love you guys. You guys make it m way more fun. I can't imagine not going live on Saturdays. I get really nervous before I go live. I want to have content. 
Um, I'll be, I, I, uh, when I go to the balloon festival, uh, that starts on a Friday. Uh, I, I seriously doubt that that's on the 17th, on the 18th of November. I don't think I'll be going live the day after the balloon festival, but, uh, uh, oh, but when I come back, when I get back here, like on the 19th of November, oh, baby. Oh, baby, I will have videos out the butt. Yeah, I won't be sick. The weather will be good. And I'm just going to be traveling and making videos. But for about, I, I got to be honest, for about six weeks, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see how it goes with my Saturday content. Okay, let's see. Uh... 007, we love Mexico right on the buck stops here. I was born in Dallas. If you can deal with Dallas heat, you can deal with Mexico heat. Yeah, good for you, man. Mexico, 007, Mexico is love. That's beautiful. Well, yeah, Mexico, there's a lot of love down here. And on my list of stuff to talk about is, I mean, I read the newspapers in the United States every day for at least like five minutes. And that's a man, that's, that's just some crazy stuff up there. People getting shot and killed for nothing. Like every day, uh, the, the Republicans are arguing with each other all the time for no real reason. I mean, come on, man. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's just that that stuff up up in the United States. It's just crazy. All the sexism and racism and homophobia up there. It's crazy. I I, I ain't living up there. No, I don't think so. Uh, that's not the land of love. Gosh, when I was in high school, you know, in the 60s and the 70s, peace, love, dove, everybody, peace, love, dove. People wearing peace signs, you know, giving the peace sign, smoking pot, getting high. Peace, peace, Woodstock, all of that. Peace and love, peace and love. Yeah, that's 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 gone, man. Woo! I'm down here in the land of love. That it is beautiful. Oh, I just left, just left Dallas on Sunday. The heat was horrible. Yeah. Evacuate. Get the heck out of there. Oh, okay. Have you been to Ixla Huacan? Just eight minutes over the hill from Chapala. Been watching videos on it. Pretty little Mexican town. Super clean. And they even have a little golf cart taxis like Mazatlan. Yes, hat. And I visited there and I did a video on it. It's on my video list. You can find it somewhere. It's a beautiful town and some, and, and I know it's got to be very, I'm going to say cheap. <laughs> you guys wouldn't believe uh, some of the messages that I get from people. There are some very angry people and these angry people if you're out in public and you're you're happy, they just hate happy people like me. And some some person uh, left a chat message and it said, uh, "Cheap, cheap is a horrible term, and I'll never watch your videos again." Okay, fine, lady, I don't care, <laughs> whatever. But I would bet that Ixla Huacan, I bet that that place is cheap. It's flat. Ahihik is all cobblestone. You can kill yourself walking around in Ahihik. You take a wrong step, and you I, I know all kinds of people, they break arms, they break ankles because of the cobblestone. Uh, Ixla Huacan is totally flat. And I walked by so many meat markets and fish markets and vegetable markets. The square was beautiful. The people were very kind. And like Hat just said, it's a weird thing because if you're leaving uh, Ahihik, Chapala, you have to go over a mountain, and and you, it happens real fast. 
takes like two minutes. You go up a big hill, come down a big hill, and then you're on your way to Guadalajara. Right at the bottom of that hill is Ixla Huacan. It's a 10-minute drive from Ahi Hik. Totally different than Ahi Hik. I already saw one American there. His name was Bob. Uh, and he talked to me, told me all about it. He was he was getting up. He got a brand new apartment. It was brand new, two hundred dollars a month. Um, he loved it. That was the only American or Canadian that I saw. But everything is flat. If you like bicycle riding, you can ride around that town like all day. Never hit a bump. It's that's a fabulous little place. It is a secret uh, of the Chapala Ahi Hik area. I had driven. To get there is kind of weird. You have to get off the road and then go under a little bridge and poof, there it is. I had driven by that little interest a thousand times, never saw it. Didn't even know it was there until <coughs> I dug deeper and looked at the map and found it. But yeah, it's a great place if you want to buy a house, if you want to rent. And it's only, uh, you're probably eight minutes from Walmart. Oh, and you're 15 minutes from the Guadalajara International Airport. And on a good day, you're only 45 minutes from Guadalajara. Sandy Thomas. Yes, I love the people, the family, love the culture. I can't wait to get back. Yeah, girl, come on back down. My heart is more Mexico than my home country, Canada. I absolutely love Mexico. Yeah, man. Pretty boy, come on back down here. Get your get your butt on down here. All these women just waiting on you to show up. Wow, Walmart on the marina was a horrible experience for me. Yeah, that's the Walmart that I go to, you know, whatever. You know, I think they have three three Walmarts here in Mazatlan. Uh, I, you know, I go. I go, that's all I have to say. Yes, Dallas heat too much for me. I'm visiting Flint, Texas. Now, Ian's the temps are cool. Okay, hat. Oh my God, Buck, a couple of my oldest friends just moved from Flint, Texas. I'm originally from Lancaster, just south of Dallas. And that's my middle name, myself. I'd melt from the heat humidity combo if I went back now. Okay. The Bucks currently live in Colorado. The Dallas, Texas heat is too much for me. Yeah, I, 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 no heat and humidity. No. Oh, damn. I would, I would have donated through PayPal if I knew. Can you put a link or do you need to go to your website? It's in the description. It's at the bottom of the description. Uh, if you go to the bottom of the description, it says, oh, click here to donate. And you can, I think it might be right under Katie Abara's name. It's in every, every week, but that's cool. That's cool. Any donation, La Dolce is a good donation. Thank you so much. My kudos graduated from Lancaster. Uh oh, now people are going down. Uh, uh, memory lane. Miriam, I love Mexico too. I am living in paradise. <coughs> and Miriam lives like two floors down, one or two floors down from me. I saw her yesterday. She was at the pool. Uh, holy moly, small world. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you guys hook up, hook up. Oh, I just moved from Pleasant Run. Oh, yeah, it is funny. Ah, oh, Verlaine. Thank you, Verlaine, for donating. Ooh, 10 Canadian dollars. That's a lot of money down here in Mexico, and that is greatly appreciated. Uh, yeah, man, I, I love the donations. Yeah, I appreciate it. We have 57 people in the house. We have 45 likes. We got some contributions shaken. Uh, what else is going on now? Is everybody here from South Dallas County? 
Not me. I'm from Ohio. I'm from Ohio. 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 Okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, we used to have, uh, one subscriber that would join us from German Village, which is in Columbus, Ohio. But I tell you what, my friends, uh, and, and I'm responding to Nana, who's saying Dallas County, that Dallas County is a great place to be from. Yes, Columbus, Ohio is a great place to be from. Uh, I can't really think of any reason to ever return to Ohio at all. There, there would be no reason to ever do that, ever. Okay, hat. Oh, oh, look, look, Texas. Texas is in the house. Texas is. Oh, what happened? Is it my middle name? Is that what the because is it is it because this is the Bill Dallas Lewis channel? Is that what attracts all these Texas people? Well, this is the Bill Dallas Lewis channel channel, and we make videos about the joys of living in Mexico. That that must be it. Oh my God! It just and it, it just continues. Hat. Okay, here's rent for a month and a half. Hat. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Hat. That five dollars, and that's I think that's U.S. dollars. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today and for to contributing to the channel. Uh, I really it's greatly appreciated. And those dollars will be well used for sure. Lenora Wilson, I've only been working on my Spanish for 47 days. I'm starting to pick up and understand some words. Having trouble with the pronunciations, uh, getting tongue tied on a lot of words. I still get tongue tied. You guys see it. Uh, you guys see it. You know, I try to say some cities. It took me years to say Tlaque Pake. <laughs> and that's a, that's that's the I would love to live in Tlaque Pake, which is a city that is connected to Guadalajara. It's fabulous. Tlaque Pake, because um, uh, a lot of these towns and names for people are not Spanish. <laughs> they come from the indigenous community languages that go like, like go back like 10,000 years. Uh, so, so you start mixing all like Talake Pake. I, I don't, I, okay. I'm uh, whatever, but yeah, it is a tongue twister. And I remember I was, I remember when I first started studying Spanish in seventh grade, in Columbus, Ohio, I went to Taco Bell. <laughs> I grew up on the west side of Columbus, Ohio. That's that's where uh, oh, the economically challenged people lived. Oh, I got the wrong camera. I'm looking at the wrong camera. Let's put this camera on. Uh, oh, oh, so we went to Taco Bell because that was Mexican food in Columbus, Ohio. In Columbus, Ohio, Taco Bell was real Mexican food. So we and they had just opened up, and this lady came in. This uh, well, she was older than me. She must have been about fifty-five. This uh, fifty-five-year-old white lady, and she says, "I'll take three tacos and five burritos." And I just started learning Spanish, but I knew that that was not right. Yeah, pronunciation is is tough, kind of. Nice, I bought my EV car. Oh, Dallas, okay. Yes, it is a very small world. Okay, we got Buck, Nana, Angie, Cena, and me all from Dallas, Fort Worth. I'm not from there. Make sure you wear thermal undies at the Balloon Fest. It's freezing early in the morning. Fine. Fine. That's good to know. I will have my hoodies on. Uh, yeah. Uh, don't get nervous, Bill. 
You are genuine and thoughtful and full of personality. Oh, thank you so much. V Gravity victim. Same here, Lenore. I'm, I'm having some problems with Duolingo. All you can do is just keep on practicing. And, um, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, that's, that's when the real love of Mexico starts to come out. When you go into 7 Eleven, uh, and, by accident, you don't plan on going in there and talking Spanish to a bunch of people. It just kind of happens. Uh, and somebody's going to help you. They're going to say something to you. And you're going to understand. And with with it's just even with your basic understanding, you'll be able to share some love with some people that you have never met. In a basic way, uh, yeah, and 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 uh, and I'm going to say there are, I'm going to say that there are two types of Mexicans down here. Uh, uh, how can I say this? I'm going to say that ninety eight percent of Mexicans are of one type and two percent of Mexicans are of another type. The 98 percent are Mexicans that speak Spanish that will help you if your Spanish isn't that good. Like uh, the, uh, uh, one thing that you want to know how to say in Spanish is no entiendo. No entiendo. That means I don't understand. And and the 98% of Mexicans will come up with another word for you or give you some, like, you know, hand signals or something or point at something. No entiendo. I don't understand. Then they'll help you. Help. They'll, they will help you. They will give the message to you in a different way. If you ask for help, the other 2% of Mexicans won't help you. And a lot of times these are very nice people, but they just write you off. It's like, what? You don't speak Spanish. I'm, you know, I've had, uh, people that I know that are Mexicans. If they can't understand what I'm saying, they just write me off. They just say, Oh, hmm. you know, and they're not bad people. But most, almost every Mexican is going to help you speak Spanish. So just keep on trying. <clears throat> and that's how you can get the more love in Mexico. Okay, my son is in Albuquerque. Did the balloon fest one time. Too cold for me. Okay. Cannot wait to visit Mexico, the Yucatan area. Yes, that is a, the Yucatan area is a place that I want to go. Yep, Ixla Huacan is cheap, but you better speak Spanish. Probably all the people who work in Ajijic and Chapala, uh, da, 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 and the bus goes there. Well, <coughs> yeah, um, basic, hey, if you move to Mexico, learn Spanish. Yeah. I mean, and you don't have to be fluent in Spanish, but learn Spanish so that you can talk to people. That's a given. Uh, and in uh, Morelia, when I moved to Morelia, or when, when I was in when I was in Guanajuato, when I was in Morelia, even in, when I was in Guadalajara, um, when I lived in Guadalajara, I was there for like four years living there. I think I saw like four or five Canadians, Americans, the whole time. That population is like three million people. Um, yeah, learn Spanish. If you're coming to Mexico, learn Spanish. Uh, yeah, you just, you just got to do it. And, and when you move to places where there aren't any Americans or no Canadians, for me, I love it. I love that. Jim Foster Real Estate. Coming back 
to Mazatlan for nine days Christmas week, staying in Centro and going to uh, Brentster's Beach Bash. And here's what Jim Foster is talking about. Brentster's, Brentster's, here is Brentster. Here is the Brentster. That is him. I did an interview with him. And every Tuesday, starting in November, he's Canadian. He does, he writes music, music. He's done Canadian. Uh, he's gotten many Canadian uh, country Western uh, awards. He lives a half a block away from me. I interviewed him in the park across the street from where that is the Brenster. He is famous amongst Canadians in Mazatlan. And, uh, and so he does a show. Uh Oh, he does a show. He does a show every Tuesday at 2 p.m. at a place called, I think it's called Diego's. And he gets like 400 people who show up, four or 500. <clears throat> and he, he does country western for four hours. And you pay like $30 for four hours. And you can drink all the beer you want. People get blasted. You get these ladies that are 80 years old. They're drunk on dancing on top of the tables. And people all know all of his music. It's a trip. So that is what Jim Foster is talking about, coming down and seeing the Brentster. Personally, I'm not a country western fan. Lenora, Brian, I have to sometimes get Google, let Google Pick it up before I can understand Duolingo. Okay, yeah, do what you got to do. <clears throat> Tanya, good morning. Tanya, Axel Foley. Okay, what are your thoughts on Queretaro? Pros and cons. I have not been there, but let me say this. Uh, let's, get, let's get out the map again. Let's get out the map again. See if we can do this. Um, there's Morelia. Oh, here we go, right there. Santiago de Querétaro, right there, right there. And you can see it's somewhat close to Morelia. <coughs> I bet it's only a half an hour drive from Guanajuato. You can see right there. Um. Now, my neighbors just moved to Querétaro. I'll learn how to say it one day. See, I've been speaking Spanish forever. I still have problems with certain words. But they moved there. They went. They 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 visited there for 17 days about three months ago. <coughs> and they just moved there about a month ago. I just talked to a friend. And my friends that just moved there don't like it. So they moved to Moralia, and they were living in another country. I forget the name of this country. It's, it's a South American country. But they didn't like Moralia either. So uh, so, I, so I'm there's uh, from my research in chat AI, Queretaro is more expensive than Moralia. Um, and, uh, they have a lot of tech industry there. It's a growing town. So I don't know, but I will be visiting there. I will spend some time there and you can see that it is right next to Moralia. So I, I probably, I can probably get the bus there in like an hour. So there you go. Now, let me get me back into the scene. See, let's see what else is going on. The Maya train, 100 miles per hour or faster, will be running less than three months, covering five states in the Yucatan era. The tourism and real estate will explode. Ooh, okay, right on. I want to ride the train, though. Brian Maiden, I use Google all the time with Duolingo. 
Ms. K. Oh, we haven't seen you in a while. Hi, Bill. Sounds amazing. Exla Huacan, I'm adding it to my list of places to visit. It is, Ms. K, it is a very small place, but it's only 40 minutes from, 45 minutes drive to Guadalajara on a good day. Um, it's, uh, it's 10 minutes from Ahihik. It's eight minutes from Chapala. It's 30 minutes from Hoko Tepec. I mean, if, 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 and I mean, I was there, they have within walking distance of anywhere you live, all kinds of like these little family markets and the people really friendly. Uh, I loved it. So you're, you're, you're only 10 minutes from all the gringos that you would ever want to see in Ahi Heek. Yeah, I mean, if you got to do that, okay. <laughs> uh, but whatever. 007. Texas weather turned cold finally this weekend. Good for you. I can't wait till that happens here. I donated not showing. Yes. Yeah, you showed. Here you go. Here we go right here. There you go. There's your donation, your super sticker right there, girl. It showed up. And thank you so much, Verlaine, for contributing to the channel. Uh -huh. Okay. Now what? I think I missed some folks. Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm backed up here a bit. Jim Foster. Oh, okie dokie. Yes, the Mayan train, Brian Maiden. I'm catching up here. I'm catching up. We got 50 people in the house and 49 likes. Thank you so much. Here we go. <sighs> okay, now. I don't think your PayPal link is in the description. Bill, you've got Katie link and the stream. Don't see the PayPal link. Okay. I got to, I got to, I got to take care of that. Okay. I got to take, I'm sorry. It was there last week. AI contributed last week. Okay. I, I okay. I'll take care of that. Oh, sorry. It's in Canadian. That's very fine. Thank you very much. It's cool outside here in Texas. I'm from California, working in Tarrant County. Okay. Nana, I'm originally from Columbus, Ohio. There is absolute, there's absolutely no reason. There is absolutely no reason. There is absolutely no reason to ever go back. You're so right, Bill. There is nothing here in Ohio. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I mean, you know, uh, yeah, I'm not going. Uh, Angie, I, I DJed so many parties in Fort Worth. Okay, Tanya Brooks. Jackson, Mississippi, but the hubby is from Cleveland, Ohio, better known as the Mistake by the Lake. And Miss Sam, we say hola to you also. Hat. I just learned about another language app yesterday called whatever that is. And it has a free version like Duolingo. I have to check that out. Very good. I moved to Italy seven years ago. And the only thing that really helped me was just to speak to the locals. But everyone learns differently. Now I have to learn Spanish. The, the languages are very similar. Uh, and the sounds are very similar also. The past tense verbs are very similar. I think you'll just do fine. Okay, now. Okay. The oldest civilization known to colonize Mexico is the Olmecs. 
and nobody speaks their language in Mexico. The language is so old, it's unknown. Now, that's a whole different uh, ball of wax. Ancient Mexican history is just unbelievable. And that's all. I, 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 I could just do videos on that. I show my, I show, oh, there you go. Yeah, you can do that. Beyond that, they say, lo siento. Mi español no es muy bueno. A lot. Oh, oh okay, whatever. Okay, the Lake Chapala workers live in Ixla Huacan. I meant to say, then go over the hill to work. Okay. Okay, you guys, <clears throat> hopefully when I'm in Mazatlan, I will get a chance to see Brentster. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, I've been to see Brentster like three times, and uh, it's a great show, but I've been there three times. Okay. William Mustache Stoneman, we just returned from San Luis Potosi, and I believe we were the only Americans in the city. No one spoke English, but we got along fine. There you go, right there. We got along fine. William Mustache Stone Stoneman was in San Luis Potosi, and he got along fine. Yes, I yeah. Yeah, and I told you guys that was the first city I ever lived in in Mexico when I was in college. I had a Mexican girlfriend, Nelly Gonzalez, and I'm sure I've said this before, but I was there for nine weeks, and she was my girlfriend for pretty much nine weeks. Pretty much I lived in her apartment, and uh, she was a rich girl. Her daddy owned a Chevrolet dealership in Tampico. And, and she took me all over Mexico. She took me to Mexico City, introduced me to these really wealthy people, wealthy Mexican people. They, they lived in mansions in downtown Mexico City. And I was in love. She was in love with me. I was in love with her. On my last day... In San Luis Potosi, um, she spoke to me in fluent English. <laughs> oh. And I said, what? You speak Spanish? I mean, I've been here for nine weeks, and all this time we could have been speaking English. And she said, she said, but Bill, if I talked to you in English, uh, you would never have learned Spanish. Okay. San Luis Potosi. Greetings from Seattle. We are actively looking in the Yucatan to relocate in two years. It's going to be hot as hell down there. Maddie Gold and her ex of uh, tang, uh, Tangerine Travels live in Cuarotaro and have a lot of vids on it. Okay. Oh, really? I thought Matty Gold lived in Ahiheek now. Oh, whatever. Love all your videos. Thank you, Randy, very much. LeBron James, yeah. LeBron James is from Ohio, and he now lives in Cali. He ain't going back. <laughs> what, he played with the Cavaliers? Eh? <coughs> I don't think so. No. Okay, Brian Maiden. Here are my two cents. Hope it will help. With the rent, uh, I see 52 watching and 52 likes. I have never seen 100% viewer to like rate anyone on YouTube. You the boss, BDL. And she, and she says that strongly. And Brian Maiden just gave me 20 Canadian dollars. Pretty boy, Brian. I thank you so much. For continue for contributing to the channel, that's four months rent. Thank you so much, and uh, uh, I'm getting ready to say adios, amigos. Uh, in Texas, they say "paquito español." I only speak a literal Spanish. Okay, 
bad girl, a bad, bad, a bad girl, Nellie, Nellie Gonzalez. Oh, oh, I got stories to tell about Nellie Gonzalez. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hat. Nah, Maddie moved from, I. oh, really? Last year, now she's moving back to Phoenix shortly. Well, adios, Maddie. Adios, hasta luego. Moving back to the U.S. I, I knew she had a lot of U.S. in her. MCC, Maddie Gold, is moving back to the U.S.A. Yeah, we're right on, and Phoenix will probably be a very good place for her to be, from what I've seen. Okay, you guys, uh, I think I'm getting out of here. I'm going to shut this down, do some search engine optimization. We got 53 people in the house and 55 likes. We got a lot of, a lot of great conversation in here today, a lot of people sharing love, sharing the joys of living in Mexico. That's what we do every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time. I want to thank everyone for showing up and sharing ideas and questions. And we, we do this every Saturday. I want to thank Katie Abara for joining us today. Uh, all I can do is uh, share my love and my thanks with all of you watching today. Uh, and um, let's see. Uh, that's it. Oh, yeah. I have another video coming up thir tomorrow. I'm going to put up the Katie real estate video tomorrow. And I'm putting up another video this coming Thursday. But for now. That's all I got to say. Uh, I'm Bill the Geek, broadcasting live from Mazatlan, Mexico. This is the Bill Dallas Lewis channel. channel. Love you all. Have a great weekend. And, uh, oh, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button, click that subscribe button. Hasta luego. Que te vaya bien.